through the Salesforce bot with the backend. For example, if we would like to, let's say, create any kind of uh, logic on Apex and would like to invoke it from the bot, so how we could do it. So actually, on the current example, we will uh, need to implement functionality that will allow us to actually create uh, feedback on this bot. And uh, here you could see a preview of this bot. And when we select this option from menu, it's showing for us a couple of questions, like if you would like to continue with feedback, uh, click yes so when we are clicking on this yes it's showing to us a couple of questions we are selecting something and what we would like to do is we would like to actually capture all of this information and put it into the backend and convert it into the some custom object record so how we could actually do that uh, so first of all we created a uh, option in our menu with feedback on this bot and how it's look like so here you could see those decisions uh, with the questions like we are performing actual message and we are asking for additional question like what you would like to do should it be yes and you would like to continue with your feedback or should we just up there so once uh, we are creating this uh, question so we are selecting into what variable we would like to actually capture customer uh, answer and we are putting it here and here we're just making sure that we just have coding to values that we would like to provide to customer to select. So after that, what is necessary for us to do is we are creating a condition. And in this condition, we based on the value in this variable, if it's set, and if it's true, then what we would like to do is redirect our customer to different uh, dialogue, right? Because if our customer decided to not, let's say, be involved into the feedback flow, so what we would like to do is for him we would like to just start another dialogue but if he is decided to move in forward we would like to let him to do so um, so once it's done here we have uh, additional submenu with uh, feedback on this bot and how it look like let me show you so this specific menu actually contains flow which is related to possibility for us to be able to interact with our customer to actually ask all of these uh, questions like for example if information was useful for you we are capturing it into separate uh, in our case string variable and providing necessary options uh, if it was easy to navigate through the board we also capturing it to the variable and again providing just static options uh, here we just providing to our customer possibility to put whatever free text he want to use and put them into the variable and at the end what we are doing is we actually invoking action so let me just deactivate the bot and show you how it could be done um, so when you are in the bot builder when you click on this plot here we have this action right and from there you could set up wherever you would like to run send email run apex flow or do whatever is needed so we are selecting on our case apex in our case uh, it's class create uh, feedback right and here you could see a list of already predefined input uh, variables so from where they actually come in so let me jump to the class and here we could see our class and here we have wrapper class for all input parameters and all of them are marked with invocable variable and here we have uh, a marker that allowing us to understand if the current parameter is required or not and uh, all these variables like main weight is info provided good it's easy to navigate the bot is actually what we could see here with their types right so it's feedback message it's easy to navigate the bot all of these kind of variables so we're just providing it here and also here we have uh, our um, proper class for chatbot uh, output and here we decided that we would like to see only two variables is result messages everything is okay and error message is something can run and here when we just select some variables we could select it uh, from the variables that we created on top so for example here you could see that we use a feedback text message for the message uh, and all these variables that we just prepared and here also what is possible for us to, for example when we have uh, to provide any kind of context information you could see that bot uh, out of the box contains uh, the following uh, let's say standard system variables right and uh, what it also contains it contains some context variables so for example we could know what is the current contact id that will be attached to transcript we will know what is the current user id will be attached to transcript and all this time 
And uh, what is important for us to provide in our case, it's a uh, chat key. So based on this chat key, we will be able to actually grab from the backend necessary transcript record and all, let's say, pre-chat form information that was filled in uh, during this step. So it's what we just did here, and we invoke this epic class, so we will review it in, in a sec. And after that, what we need to have is we need to have rules, and this rule, based on the error message result, we'll see, okay, if uh, feedback error message is set, right, when it came from the backend, that means that some error occurred. So we created uh, another dialog that allowed us to actually handle that kind of situation. Let me just jump there. And here we just have some generic error handling logic. So now let me jump to the code. So as I mentioned, for you to be able to use any kind of interaction with the backend, what you need to have is you need to have wrapper class for the input variables. You need to have a wrapper class for the output variables. And we need to have the main um, method with annotation invocable method. And this specific method will handle actually all kind of inputs that are coming into this function. So please uh, know that we are trying to use all these kind of input variables in the bulk. So we are some, our assumption is that at the same point of time a couple of persons could use the same chatbot, right? And uh, a couple of records could be created at the same time. So there are a couple of uh, chatbot inputs came to us. So we are getting actual chat uh, keys and putting it into the uh, list for us to be able to actually grab uh, live chat transcript records from the backend side and based on those transcript records what we will be able to grab it's grab information about necessary let's say related to this transcript case id contact id and all contact information which is necessary for us like if we would like to have phone and mail or account id or whatever information from the pre-chat form we will be able to grab it there so once it's done for every kind of um, chatbot input what we would like to do is we would like to create feedback record and we just created a couple of fields that allowing us to actually grab uh, necessary information from our chatbot input. And as we mentioned, some information should actually come from the transcript. So that's why we are getting, for example, contact from the actual uh, transcript record. And what we are doing at the end, we just insert the necessary feedbacks that we just created and we fill in out result information and error information for us and just have return and statement. So it's allowing us to actually create necessary record and how it looks like you could see there. So we just have the records with necessary all scores selected. Based on this information we could create dashboards, reports or whatever information that we need. But here is the actual way for us to be able to actually interact with the bot uh, through Apex Action. So thanks for the attention.